More fallout at Port Tampa Bay. The I-team has learned a state investigation is now in the works. This after investigator Jared Holbrook uncovered port executives whining and dining on your dime. Jared is here with more on that. Jared? Well, Wendy, Florida House Speaker Richard Corcoran is appalled at what we found. He directed a state-level committee to look into all of the expenses port executives have been putting on their credit cards. Do you see this as wasteful spending? It's absolutely wasteful spending. It's taxpayers. Whether direct or indirect, it's taxpayers' money. You got some lady, single mom, coming home every day, working two jobs, a waitress, trying to make the basic bills and cover them. Uh, and you have this kind of spending going on with her money that you're taking from her. That's inexcusable. Florida House Speaker Richard Corcoran is lashing out at Port Tampa Bay executives after the I-team uncovered questionable expenses on their credit cards. None of it's ever proven that this dollar equaled this, this return. It's all false. Um, but they should go to those folks, knock on their door, sit at their table, and apologize to them. The I-team previously exposed eight port executives, including CEO Paul Anderson, racked up more than $870,000 on their credit cards in three years, all spending taxpayer money on golf outings, lightning season tickets, and fancy dinners at places like Burns Steakhouse, a table for 25 at Cooper's Hawk. That bill was more than $2,100. One former executive had to pay back more than $11,000 in unexplained charges. Since our investigation, Mayor Bob Buckhorn has called for policy changes and blasted executives for some of the expenses. Now, Speaker Corcoran is calling for a state-level investigation. He's directed the Florida House Public Integrity and Ethics Committee to review our findings. You've done some great uh, investigative reports on this. Uh, the team has already looked at all of your investigative reports. We know we have recourse. We want to choose the most effective one to make it stop. And Speaker Corcoran says he won't stop until serious changes are made. I don't care if it's shutting down their funding, uh, prosecuting, suing, whatever it takes, I want it all shut down. What's your message to taxpayers when they see this type of spending going on in our port? Remember it at the ballot box. I mean, it's inexcusable. The 18-member committee meets in September but has already started their investigation. I'm investigator Jared Holbrook, taking action for you. Still to come.